What's up guys? Today we're going to check out the Super Mario Bros. movie on 4K UHD. I'm not going to get into how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some of my thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie is animated. It's got a 2K DI. It's rated PG. Runtime is 92 minutes. Aspect ratio is 239 to 1 and the audio is in Dolby Atmos. Let's take a look at the Atmos viewer and see how active this mix is. If you don't know what the Atmos viewer is, you can find a link in the video's description that tells you all about it. Well, this is a static mix from start to finish. If you've got wide channels or a center surround, they won't get any usage. I also found this mix to be kind of underwhelming. As for as much action that's going on in the movie, there's not a whole lot of discrete effects that moves throughout your speakers. You'd think that the Mario Kart scene would have a ton of carts moving from front to back or side to side, but most of the action remains in the front speakers, and this happens during all the large action scenes. I think the most notable moment is when Kong comes running in from the back right speaker up to the front speakers. There are a few things here and there, but nothing that really stands out. <laughs> That's not to say that the surround speakers don't get a lot of usage, because they do. It's just that it's mostly music that comes blaring through all the channels of the entire time. As for bass response, it's pretty light, except for a few explosions on the Rainbow Road and towards the end of the movie. The subwoofers barely had anything to do, even though the explosions didn't have all that much impact. And of course, I did have to raise the volume about 10 dB or so louder than normal. Maybe the physical disc will sound better, but I don't think it'll be that much different. If you're new to the channel and you're into home theater and want to know if a movie is worth playing on your surround sound setup or want to know about the latest and greatest in audio and video gear, then tap the subscribe button for new weekly videos. And also, thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube member subscribers for supporting the channel and making this purchase of the Super Mario Brothers movie possible on iTunes so I can bring you, the home theater movie loving community, this 4K review. If you want to join Patreon or the YouTube membership, you can find links for it down below in this video's description. As for video quality, this is a super bright transfer. It's one of the brightest I've seen. It kind of reminded me of the Meg because the whites were borderline too hot, almost to the point where it's clipping detail. And just to be sure it wasn't my projector clipping detail, I did double check to see if the Dolby Vision was better on my TV, which it was slightly better than the HDR10 version. I'd say if your TV has subpar tone mapping, then this movie might look overblown because there is a lot of white. And not only are the whites white hot, the colors are also really heavily saturated too. So if you want to show off how bright and vivid your display can get, this movie just might do it for you. Black levels were deep with good shadow detail with elevated contrast, which really does make the image pop. As for detail, you might think that since this was all CG, that it'd be all 4K crispy and clean, but they did add digital grain to soften the edginess so it isn't razor sharp. It actually looks like it was shot on film despite being CG. Overall, this is a good looking CG animated movie. I don't think it's a 4K showcase, but it's got colors that do pop, that I know a lot of folks crave, and it does have eye-watering brightness. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the video an 8.2. For audio, like I said earlier, I was kind of underwhelmed. Not that it sounded great at the theater, but I thought it sounded maybe a little bit different at home and maybe a little bit better. There wasn't a lot of discrete effects and the bass could have used a lot more output. There's still a lot of activity in the surround speaker since it's mostly music. It's just what was happening on screen could have matched better audibly. So I'm gonna have to go with a seven for audio. Well, those are my thoughts on the Super Mario Brothers movie on digital streaming. Have you guys seen it? And what'd you think of the audio and video? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Now, if you do wanna pick up this movie, I'll leave some links for it down below in this video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media. And if you'd like to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in the next video.